Hey, what's up, Tribe? This is Adam with Warrior Tribe Tactical. I want to go back over a gun that I reviewed a while back when we first got started, the uh, M&P 1522. I've been seeing uh, a lot of questions about this, especially with the ammo shortage, and if you can find it, how expensive it, it is. So a lot of people are digging out their 22 long rifles uh, to, to go out and be able to get some shots on target and train up. So... I feel this is a great training gun uh, for anyone training youth, maybe your spouse, maybe someone who doesn't have the strength to, to shoot an AR-15 or doesn't like that loud uh, firing noise that the AR-15 does. So this is something that's getting pretty popular. I wanted to go back over it because in the first video all you can hear is shooting from the uh, bays next to me. So let's take it back out to the range, shoot it up a little bit, come back and talk about it. All right guys, so we started out at like 15 yards, went out to about 115, and uh, I don't know if this will show it, but all hits on target, had a wild guy up there, but all hits on target, one down there, one up there, one here. The rest are all in there. That's just from freestanding, so rifle shooting good. Uh, like I said, not zero to me, but it's on target, good gun. So all right guys, the M&P 1522. 22 long rifle, right, in an AR platform. Uh, it's a blowback design. And uh, it's 33, what was that, 33.75 inches fully extended. 5.5 pounds, so it's not heavy, easy to maneuver, easy to handle, okay? Zero recoil out of this thing, so when you're training someone, uh, or if you're just out to have some fun, you know, it doesn't beat on you any, not that an AR does, but, for someone who's new to the sport, it's not bad. The barrel is 16.5 inches long, it's carbon steel, and it is threaded. So if you wanted to suppress this, which I think would be groovy, right? It would be fun to suppress and take this out and shoot, um, you can suppress, all right? So it's got a polymer upper and lower polymer handguard, which is M-Lock. Um, so whatever you need to put on there, you can with M-Lock um, accessories. And then, it's got a single stage trigger and the trigger's not bad okay it's not bad at all so you know mill spec mill spec and it's good to go now there is no buffer tube or spring in there because it's a 22 long rifle all right so uh i enjoy shooting this i really enjoy shooting this and this is my wife's um i got it for her so i could train her on that platform and she really enjoys it it gives her the confidence so when she moves up to when she was ready to move up to that uh, 5.56, five, it wasn't a problem. She already had, you know, all the fundamentals down of shooting an AR with this. So it is a confidence builder. And uh, if you're looking to do that, it's great. If you're looking to go out and shoot a bunch of ammo and not feel guilty about it, and I know 22 is getting hard to find right now as well, but a lot of you have stockpiled 22. I know it. So you can get out and... and get on target with this and train up a bit. Um, you know, what is it used for? Plinking, training, small game. Uh, and I, you know, I think, I think you could use this as a home defense gun. Um, just make sure that the ammo you're using is quality and you've tested it out, that it's gonna go when you need it to go. All right, because what are we always talking about? Shot placement, right? So anything could be a good defense weapon uh, if, if needed, okay? Um, the MSRP on this right now is $461, all right? And you know, it, could, it is a little more in some areas, but the average I saw is about 461. If you're looking to go buy this online, 
it's anywhere from 500 to 629 all right so it has gone up since i got this mm, probably about a year and a half maybe two years ago um, so it has gone up a bit and uh you know cool thing about it is just like an ar you can accessorize it to what you want so it's got the uh magpul buttstock magpul grip and uh if you notice you know it's extendable so to the needs that you that you would want you can adjust it to yourself uh comfortable grip you know just like a regular ar and uh they do make ambidextrous charging handles for this now i've seen but they are expensive and you can't get them they're out of stock everything's out of stock so i'm working on that if any of you see one that's still available please let me know in the in the uh, comments below so i can go get it um what i did to this is you know for my wife i took off all the edges i put these little goofy things on for her so it makes it a little smoother and then some grip some texture up here like i said it's m lock the the uh handguard is m lock so you can make it to your specifications as long as it has m lock fittings right up front i put the qd mount up here you know right in there bingo and uh you know you can place that sling wherever you're comfortable i also have the mbus magpul flip up sights always gotta have backup sights and then i put on the six hour romeo 5 uh red dot which i really enjoy i like those things uh underneath i put the what is that uh that's a magpul uh, vertical grip and then a stream light on you know so I believe in white light on your gun okay so that's my setup pretty simple pretty basic just the necessities but uh, you know as you can see in um, the shoot video that we're gonna upload with this when I'm out at my range um, you know shoots nice shoots everything that you you want it to uh what i noticed is cci burn through it stingers run through it high velocity um 22 rounds fire through it i had a couple of those um a few rounds of that thunder bolt bucket or whatever that is uh, and i believe that's 36 grain that cheap stuff uh i had a couple misfires with that and that was the ammo all right it wasn't the magazine uh it wasn't the gun and these do come with uh, 125 round magazine that are good to go. All right. And if you want extra magazines, they're they're around 25 bucks for for each one right now. I've had no problems with them. Uh, I've had no problems with this gun. It is a good gun. Okay. Um, very reliable and fun to shoot. So if you're looking for a tactical 22, you want to get out there and train. You want to teach someone else. Maybe you want to hunt, home defense, plink around, whatever it is. The Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, not a, bad, not a bad pickup, guys. So go put one in your hands, test it out. Don't take my word for it. Try it. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Just wanted to show you this again and uh, let you know what's out there. Hey, we provide purpose, direction, motivation. Check us out on Instagram and uh, Facebook and uh, what else? Um, Parlor's gone. So... Instagram, Facebook at Warrior Tribe Tactical, and then we have our website, warriortribetactical.com. Check that out. If you're interested in training, we have our own range. Come out and get that training, pistol, rifle, and uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. All right, so pay attention, tribe. This is important. Nice gun. This is a nice gun. My partner Mark and business partner.